As more questions arise about the efficacy of conventional health care, many patients are turning to alternative medicine for answers. Just outside of Philadelphia, European Biological Medicine Clinic True Wellness and head clinician Ian Kennedy, biological therapist Kelly Kennedy, and medical doctor Joseph Carcetti are empowering patients to understand that optimal health may lie in the palm of their hand. If you fight something, it's gonna fight it back, right? And that's what Western medicine does. Suppress the symptom, cut it out. And that's a monomorphic view of the individual, of that, they just come from a different science of monomorphism, meaning that uh, a bacteria is different than a virus, is different than a fungus. In pleomorphism, it's the concept of what environment does the cell live in and how can we introduce the proper milieu, the proper space between the cells so that those cells are healthy. We get rid of the heavy metals now in our mouth and now in our body, and we don't create an acidic, heavy metal, stressful environment for our bodies and our blood will follow. It's very difficult what we do because not everybody is the same exact puzzle. Everybody's a different puzzle and we've got to help figure that out with them. And it takes patience and it takes time. And typically most doctors don't have a lot of time based upon the model of healthcare that we're in. They have four to five minutes with their patients. When a client um, begins at True Wellness, it's really a partnership. It's not about them showing up and going, I want a different pill for my migraine headache and I want you to fix me. You know, and I really emphasize that on every phone, initial phone call because when we get to meet somebody the first time, it's an hour, we do a computer assessment, a heart rate variability test, which is a lay down stand up with a heart rate monitor on, giving us an, a picture into the quantitative assessment of their autonomic nervous system. And that dot represents a blocked regulation. So your nervous system's ability to see the difference between laying down and standing up has gone away. Hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. But right now your system is going, I don't see the difference between laying down, transitioning, and standing up. I am in one gear, blocked regulation. Then we do a lot of muscle response testing. I uh, Kennedy does all the initial consults, so he will take them through what's known as a body scan. He'll look for allergies, he'll look for emotional components, and he'll come up with a wellness program for them, based upon them and what their symptoms are. So let's find out why you're what's called neurologically blocked the body's not perceiving outside challenges and I'll show you that today with a muscle test okay it's the most important thing I can do for you alrighty and I don't want to guess I want to test okay if you say so okay <laughs> I want you to see that you can lock your shoulder muscle against my downward pressure okay hold if you can and that's very good you can totally do that I'm gonna take some energetic kits that represent a vibration to your nervous system and I'm gonna just lay them against your leg I'm going to stretch my hand out over your ear again and I'm going to pull on your arm. If there's a change and we find that that locked muscle just opens up, then we know one of those things or a combination of those things are offending your nervous system. Okay? Hold your arm up for me. I'm going to stretch my hand over your ear. Hold if you can. And that doesn't make any difference at all. So it's not that. Let's put this against you. And hold again for me. Ready? Nice and strong. Go. Hello, Barbara. Hello. Do that again. Ready? She's nice and strong. Stretch my hand over your ear. And that's called open regulation. Feels mm -hmm. different? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we'll meet them where they're at, and our job is to push them a little bit. But even the first time we meet them, we might get an hour, an hour and 20 minutes with them. Our job is to help educate them along the way so and no to guide them. Size. And then on the follow-up visits, which are typically 20 to 30 minutes in length, so we can this. actually do that therapies, see also how they've responded to whatever we did to them last time. We can do anything and everything from a detox foot baths to allergy elimination technique to nutritional balancing, working on a nutritional protocol for them, to doing IV therapies, maybe they see Dr. Carcetti for doing um, neural therapies, which is supportive therapies for the organ systems or drainage therapies, maybe scar therapy, which is a huge component of, of wellness. We also look at the dental components, not that we're dentists, but we wanna make sure there's no blockades up against the uh, regulatory capacities from that perspective, so we may refer them out to the dentist and then we'll work with the biological dentist that we ha have been so fortunate to be aligned with to make sure that that piece is being handled and they're opening up drainage before we actually detoxify them. 
So you've got amalgams in some of the teeth that, and in your upper jaw that look old. They've been there for a long time and they're pretty big. And our teeth are connected and have a big responsibility in regards to the function of our body and our organs, okay? There's just a myriad of things that we, tools essentially, that we have in our toolbox that we will pull from to find out what is ideal for that person. It's going to get their bodies to go back into homeostasis, to go back into balance, to allow again those regulatory, regulatory capacities to take over and allow that body to heal itself. And then we also have other things in our in our tool shed as well, like the CRT, the Computerized Regulation Thermography, which when somebody's really committed and they're ready to really see what the overlying um, path is that they're going to take and set up protocols and see what the underlying issues are, and it's also a quantitative assessment of all the uh, organ systems of the body, the CRT is something that we do with folks as well. So it's their ability to communicate with us as well. This is what I changed, this is what I didn't change, this is what I'm willing to change, this is what I'm not willing to change. And, and being able to guide a pathway back to their health so that they can restore their health, maintain their health, and then further enhance their health when they're looking forward to doing that. And whether that takes them two months or two years or 12 years, our job is to empower them, which is scary for a lot of folks, to give them more responsibility for their health care. But that's our goal, to not make them dependent upon us or a supplement. And we have so many clients that we knew very well. You know, we saw them weekly for a couple of years. We got their families on track. And now we see them once every couple of years because they don't need us. Most folks spend about $25,000 in the last six months of their life trying to save their life. And I can totally appreciate uh, the different thought process that we have in the preventative, holistic world. Yes, it's more expensive to buy organic, natural food. Yes, it's more expensive to pay attention to not going to McDonald's, but to actually cook a meal. It also takes more time and energy. We all have the same amount of time in a 24 hours. We all have approximately, I mean, most of us are middle Americans and we have approximately the same amount of money. It's about how we choose to spend that money. We all have iPhones. Most of us do. We most, most of us have Wi-Fi at our homes, but yet you can't afford to buy organic food. It's a choice.